In the dusty archives of forgotten history lies a mystery buried not in ruins, but in blood. Deep within the genetic code of millions, scientists uncovered traces of a people that should not exist. A lineage erased, hidden, and denied. Their DNA whispers of migrations across continents, of forgotten empires, of identities deliberately silenced. Yet every cell carries the evidence, unshakable, undeniable. This discovery is not just about science. It is about identity, about belonging, about a chapter of India's past that official history books have chosen to ignore. The strands of DNA reveal a forgotten connection, one that challenges myths, borders, and centuries of silence. Who were these people? Why were they erased from collective memory? And why, even today, does their existence remain forbidden? What if the blood of millions carried a secret so powerful, so controversial, that entire nations refused to acknowledge it? What if inside the double helix lies the truth about an ancient people India has turned its back on? Tonight, we unlock the code of a forbidden past and ask the question no one dares to confront. Who were the people India refuses to recognize? To understand this mystery, we must travel back thousands of years to a land where civilizations rose and fell along the banks of the Indus, the Ganges, and the vast plains of South Asia. Here, some of the world's oldest cities thrived. Harappa, Mohenjo-Daro, and countless others, built long before Rome or Athens even existed. India was not one people, but many. Tribes, kingdoms, and migrating cultures collided in waves, shaping the subcontinent into a mosaic of languages, traditions, and myths. But somewhere in that timeline, a rupture occurred. Whole populations vanished from the official narrative, their names erased, their kingdoms forgotten, their bloodlines absorbed into larger groups, but never acknowledged. For centuries, epic texts and royal chronicles told a story of unity under powerful dynasties. Yet beneath those tales lies the silence of millions, silenced not by nature, but by design. Modern estimates suggest that nearly 200 million people in India today carry traces of this forbidden lineage. That is more than the population of most countries on Earth. And yet, despite their overwhelming presence in the genetic record, these people remain absent in history books. Their story has been buried under layers of politics, religion, and cultural identity. The mystery grows. Who were these forgotten ancestors? And why has their recognition been so fiercely denied, even in the age of science? The story begins not with kings or monuments, but with a single bone. In 2018, deep inside an ancient burial site near Rakigarhi, one of the largest Indus Valley cities ever uncovered, archaeologists found skeletal remains untouched for more than 4,000 years. Fragile, fragmented, yet preserved enough for something extraordinary. The extraction of ancient DNA. At first, scientists were cautious. South Asia's climate is brutal on genetic material. Heat, humidity, and time usually erase every trace of DNA. Yet against all odds, this skeleton still carried microscopic fragments of a forgotten genome. When analyzed, it revealed something shocking. The genetic signature did not match what official history had long claimed about the origins of the Indian people. Instead, it pointed to a hidden connection to an ancestral group outside the dominant narratives. Other discoveries followed. Bones unearthed from megalithic burials in southern India. Teeth preserved in Himalayan caves. Each sample told the same story, of migrations, intermixing, and a population that had been written out of history. The deeper scientists dug, the louder the whispers became. For the first time, Biology was speaking where history had been silent. 
But what exactly did these fragments reveal? And who were the people behind this forbidden DNA? The clues were tantalizing, but incomplete. Ancient bones alone could not solve the puzzle. To uncover the truth, teams of geneticists, archaeologists, and historians from across the world joined forces. Laboratories in India, Europe, and the United States began sequencing DNA from hundreds of ancient and modern samples. Each data point was a piece of a massive puzzle spanning thousands of years. The results were unsettling. Genetic patterns showed that the Indian subcontinent had not been isolated, as many had believed. Instead, it was a crossroads. Waves of migration came from Central Asia, the Middle East, even distant Siberia. Yet among all these influences, one lineage stood out, a population that appeared in the DNA, but not in the texts, not in the monuments, not in the chronicles. This was no ordinary omission. The deeper researchers went, the more resistance they faced. Certain groups pushed back, arguing that these findings threatened long-accepted identities. Some archives became suddenly restricted. Critics labeled the research controversial, warning of political unrest. It was as if the past itself was guarded, protected from being unveiled. Still, the scientists pressed on. They ran advanced simulations, comparing ancient genomes with those of living populations. Again and again, the forbidden DNA emerged, undeniable, consistent, and widespread. The evidence was converging toward a truth too big to ignore. But what would the final proof reveal? And how could it change everything we thought we knew about India's past? The breakthrough came with ancient DNA sequencing at an unprecedented scale. Using next-generation technology, scientists reconstructed genomes from skeletons spanning 4,000 years of South Asian history. What they found? shattered established narratives. The data revealed two dominant ancestral groups, one linked to early farmers from Iran, the other tied to steppe nomads from Central Asia. But between them lay a third signal, a lineage long ignored. It appeared again and again, especially in populations that history had relegated to the margins. This was the forbidden DNA, a trace of ancient hunter-gatherers of South Asia people who lived in the land long before the great civilizations rose. Their genetic signature survives today in hundreds of millions, yet their identity has been politically erased. Official narratives describe India's civilization as emerging from glorious dynasties and sacred texts, but the DNA told another story, one of forgotten ancestors whose blood still flows through the veins of nearly every community. For scientists, the discovery was undeniable. The ancient South Asian hunter-gatherers were the true foundation of India's genetic landscape. Their presence could not be denied. Their DNA could not be silenced. Yet acknowledging them meant rewriting history, dismantling myths, and confronting uncomfortable truths about caste, migration, and power. The forbidden people had been found. Not in books, not in ruins, but within the very code of life itself. Picture the Indian subcontinent 10,000 years ago. Vast forests, untamed rivers, and small groups of hunter-gatherers moving silently across the land. They hunted, gathered, and adapted to one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth. These were the first Indians the ancient South Asian hunter-gatherers whose DNA still beats in the heart of millions. Then, waves of change arrived. Farmers from the Fertile Crescent brought seeds, irrigation, and settled life. Later, steppe herders thundered in with horses, weapons, and new languages. Cultures mixed, clashed, and merged, creating the mosaic of India as we know it. But in the rush of new civilizations, the memory of the first people was buried. Their stories faded, their names erased. 
yet their blood never disappeared. Every temple stone, every royal throne, every dynasty that rose and fell carried traces of them. From the fishermen of Kerala to the shepherds of Rajasthan, from Himalayan villages to coastal tribes, the forbidden DNA whispered through time, a reminder of a forgotten foundation. This was not a single invasion, nor a single dynasty. It was a long, unfolding tapestry of migrations and unions. But the true origin always returned to the same root, the ancient people who first called this land home. They were not outsiders. They were not invaders. They were the original heartbeat of India. And yet, to this day, their recognition is still denied. The story of the forbidden DNA is not just about science. It is about power, memory, and identity. History books may erase, but the body remembers. The double helix does not lie. It carries every migration, every union, every forgotten name. And in India, it tells us that before kings, before empires, before castes and borders, there were the first people, the ones who laid the foundation yet remain unrecognized. Their descendants live among us, farmers, laborers, fishermen, tribes, entire communities whose blood carries the genetic proof of an ancient past. And still, in modern India, their existence is marginalized. A nation celebrates its glorious dynasties yet refuses to honor the ones who came first. The forbidden people remain forbidden. But DNA has changed the game. With every new discovery, silence becomes harder to maintain. The truth is written not in stone, but in every cell of life itself. The question is no longer whether these people existed, but why their story is still denied. What does it mean for a country when its deepest roots are ignored? What does it mean for humanity when we silence the voices of our own ancestors? The mystery of the forbidden DNA is far from over. And perhaps the real revelation is not in the past, but in how we choose to remember it today. If you want to uncover more hidden truths of our past, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and join us for more journeys into the mysteries of history and science. Because sometimes, the most powerful discoveries are already inside us.